researchers at Yale who five years ago were able to more or less reanimate a pig's brain that had been separated from its body and kept at room temperature for more than four hours. Now they're able to do the same thing with human brains. Yeah. And the key to this operation is a sort of device that's somewhat similar to a dialysis machine, which essentially sort of processes your blood for you, cleans the waste products, puts it back in. This is sort of similar, except it's a kind of cocktail that preserves different kinds of brain tissue and functions and things like that, and it protects against the bad effects of bringing reoxygenated blood back into an organ that hasn't had oxygen for a yeah. while. Much of the damage that occurs to your body and your brain when you've been deprived of oxygen isn't because of the deprivation itself, but because of the reintroduction of oxygen. So mm. this reperfusion technology is meant to kind of forestall and mitigate the damage that's caused by that. Yeah. I think what's really, really, really important to note in the case of the pigs and in the case of the human brains that are being brought back to some level of activity is that there is no evidence that there's any kind of consciousness at all. There is no electrical well, activity. They're sedating them, aren't they, as well? Though? That's one of the interesting that's, things. That's to make sure in case there would be any glimmers of consciousness. Exactly. The, the person or the pig wouldn't be aware of it. Yeah, which would be a horrible thing. Oh, like, what I mean, would your experience of the world be if you were only a brain? 